This is happening. We are back in the garden today. Um, I keep pausing because I'm not ready for this. Um, I need to do it, but this is the furthest I've ever gotten on this type of a project, but it's time. It's time. So these are my potatoes that I planted, um, and they need to come out. So we're going to work on that. All right. So I planted my potatoes in these big drums. Well, they were 22 gallon drums cut in half. I did it a bit different this year to rather than hilling up, I just planted my potatoes really deep. Um, so I planted the potatoes really deep and then just covered them and left them. Uh, <laughs> I would, don't remember the exact date, so I'll put that here. Um, but now it is May 4th. Um, and we're just gonna break a hundred on Thursday. So I need to make sure I get these out of here. So I'm gonna work on that right now. And I don't know what we're gonna find. This is gonna be good or bad. I don't know yet. I'm nervous, but we're just gonna harvest them. So right here, look up at the top. It's a mini little potato. Um, so I have seen them. I know they're in there. How many and what we're gonna get, I don't know. So this is gonna be pure reaction to my potato harvest. So this year, I'm gonna be harvesting this extremely slow because when I did it last year, I hit one potato, like by one solid potato I hit with a spade. So I'm gonna be using a little pail and just shoveling out every single scoop of soil so I don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna come over here so you can see my reaction as I'm going through and doing this. Bam. First bucket for soil. I am so terrified at what I'm gonna find. It's not funny. Don't. Yeah, that was clearly dead. The chickens are out, so you may see them come around. I was going to put drip irrigation in here, but didn't get around to it. All right. So the soil's still pretty wet because I watered the other day. Oh, those are baby potatoes. These, those count. Those count. I'm counting, these look like the Yukon Gold potatoes. So I'll have to go back and reference and see what potatoes they actually are, because I don't know. So I'm guessing, oh my goodness, these are, oh, oh no, that one's sprouting. Oh my goodness, look, one potato, two, three, they're little, but they count. They count. Okay, so we got three. I'm gonna put them all right there. Oh my goodness. That is gonna make a decent breakfast. That is so cool. So this this potato is connected to this vine right here. So now I see, ooh. oh, there was a little potato on there. So this Ben has me pretty. Oh, that's another decent breakfast right there. Look at that one. Ah, oh, that's so cool. All right, that's probably, oh my goodness, there's a, a, another baby. I got lots of babies, okay. All right, babies are where it's at. Hold on, let me get, I'm going through all this because like, now that I know there's potatoes in here, I did plant on this side, but nothing like grew. So I'll be interested to see my potato plants where they were was right here. I'll be interested to see if anything's on this side of the bin or not, because that'll help me with future planting and what I might do. So I'm not seeing anything on that side of the container. I don't know why I'm freaking out like a potato is going to end up in there. This 
so this side. Oh, I'm hitting roots. I'm hitting roots. There's roots on this side, which is fascinating to see. All right, now we're gonna go back to where I think the potatoes are in this giant pile. Alright, this bucket started out strong and now I don't know how I feel about it. We have two more babies. Two little bitty babies. Little babies. Oh. Three. That one almost went in the bucket. Woohoo! We got one. We got two. That can't be it. Like this is going to be the saddest potato harvest ever. So I'm more than halfway down right now. We found. Oh. Well, isn't that cool? That's like a good analogy of how potatoes grow. That is super awesome couple potatoes there, a baby one there, I have a potato that sprouted right here, is that really all my potatoes from this whole bucket? Smells really good though. Oh, there was another baby. Oh, I hit the mother potato. That's always the gross. Yeah. Some of these potatoes just like it pops. It's so gross. Well, I guess this is the saddest potato harvest ever. I got like three potatoes. I turned, I put three potatoes I think in here, or two, and I turned them into three potatoes. Don't know how I feel about that right now. I'm trying to decide, should I harvest these or let them go longer? I don't know what to do right now. That's so sad, but it is what it is, this is what gardening is. You live and you learn and I think this one for me is really insightful because you can just see how the potatoes were growing and I think that's really cool to see. Um, I don't think they needed more time. Um, I do not think more time would have made a difference. Down at the bottom it's really wet but I wouldn't say it's like not wringing out water, so I don't think it's excessively wet. But this is still pretty interesting. I don't know. I keep saying I don't know because I don't know. But stay tuned. I have three more of these containers to harvest, and we'll see how that goes, what it looks like. Um, there are other varieties. So I planted all these are also from the grocery store. So I didn't buy seed potatoes except for the ones behind me over here. Those are the little red ones. Um, the rest of these were just grown in my kitchen. So I got them, couldn't find any at any stores. So it's really fascinating. I'm thoroughly intrigued by this whole process and what it's like growing your own food. And I was really 
really excited for potatoes. This is so rough. Okay. I don't know, have you had a potato harvest like this? That you're just like so underwhelmed by? I guess let me know in the comment section. Um, I've tried a few different varieties. We'll see what I do next year. I think I am gonna plant a lot earlier. So the chances of getting a freeze here are minimal. Like we do get one or two days where freeze happens, but I could always throw a tarp over them. So I think I'm gonna start planting a lot earlier because we just get warm here. So maybe by planting earlier, we won't have that happen, but pretty cool to see. Uh -huh.